Hotel conglomerate Marriott is acquiring rival Starwood Hotels and Resorts in a deal valued at $12.2 billion. The merger will create the world's largest hotel company with more than 1 million rooms globally. Marriott, which owns and operates a portfolio of brands that includes the Ritz-Carlton, JW Marriott, and the Addition Hotels, has over 700,000 rooms, and about 8% are classified as luxury. It reported $13.8 billion in revenue in 2014. Starwood, which controls the St. Regis, Weston, Sheraton, and W Hotels brands, announced it was looking at strategic alternatives in April. While the company has expanded overseas faster than its rivals, Starwood has struggled against mid-market brands. Since the spring, several companies have been interested in Starwood. In late October, the Wall Street Journal reported at least three Chinese companies, including lodging giant Shanghai Jingjiang International Hotels, were interested in making a takeover offer for Starwood. At the same time, Starwood was reportedly in merger talks with Hyatt Hotels. So what is driving the interest? Room rates and occupancy levels are at all-time highs. But as new supply enters major U.S. cities and hotels fend off pressure from Airbnb and other room-sharing sites, hotel operators are seeing size as a key way to compete in an increasingly globalized hospitality sector. An acquisition can be the fastest way for a hotel company to fill a gap in the type of hotels it offers. Historically, Starwood has been a strong performer in the high-end hotel market. Roughly half of its more than 350,000 rooms are outside the U.S. Its W brand is known for having a stylish, modern edge. 10% of its rooms are classified as luxury. Starwood reported $6 billion in revenue in 2014. Marriott Chief Executive Arnie Sorensen said the companies haven't started the process of antitrust review yet, but he said Marriott has about 10% of the hotel rooms in the U.S., while Starwood has about 3 to 4%, so the combined company would be less than 15% of the U.S. hotel supply.